We cannot solve the climate crisis without tackling the unsustainable debt levels of global South countries. Lower income countries suffer from the worst impacts of climate change and have no choice but to borrow to pay for the costly recovery from extreme climatic events. They end up borrowing as well to invest in energy transition, to reduce carbon emissions and in infrastructure to adapt to climate change. The cost of servicing external debts reduces their budgets for essential services, public infrastructure and climate resilience, harming their development and people's lives. Yet the wealthiest countries, which have contributed the most to climate change, are deepening this injustice by providing loans to finance climate resilience that exacerbate the unsustainable debt burdens of some of the poorest and most vulnerable countries in the world. And the more debt they have, the less they can invest in climate resilience. This vicious circle of debt and climate traps countries in the global south in endless debt crises and accelerates the climate emergency. It needs to stop. We call on governments, private creditors, and international institutions to take urgent, just, ambitious action, to cancel unsustainable and illegitimate debts, to ensure debt repayments are automatically suspended when a climate extreme event hits a country, to deliver sufficient new and additional non-debt creating climate finance for the global south, to recognize that the wealthiest countries owe a climate debt to the global south, there is no climate justice without debt justice, and no debt justice without climate justice.